In Creole Parametric, round features can have different transitions where different sets and references intersect one another. And this can be very confusing. I recommend when you are trying to apply different transitions, see what is available to you because it is extremely dependent on the geometry that you are selecting. Let's take a look at a lot of examples of this because depending on how you count it, there's like 10 or 13 different kinds of transitions and the transitions differ depending on how many references that you have, convexity, lots of different factors. So let's just jump right into it. All right, I've got this part model over here. Let's start off to create a round. And I'm gonna select this edge over here. All right now you can see that we have a radius. I'll leave the default value of one over there. And if I go to the sets tab, we just have the one edge there. Let's hold down the control key and I'll add in the side edges as well. So we have a few different areas where our rounds are intersecting other geometry and intersecting the different references. To control the shape at those different intersections, you use transitions. If you take a look on the tab for the round feature, we have a transitions tab, but clicking on the transitions tab does not allow you to define transitions. I'm actually still in set mode. If you want to get into transitions mode, you will click on this icon over here for transition mode, or you can right mouse click and hold, and in the mini toolbar, you can click on this button in order to enter transitions mode. Now you'll notice that the edges that were highlighted in green are no longer visible, and you might be able to tell that there's some faint pinkish outlines of where we can define different transitions. Let's start right here. I'll click on the transition, and then if I right mouse click and hold from the pop-up menu, you can see the two different kinds of transitions that you have available to you. The default is continue in this case, and the default is whatever Creole Parametric is choosing for you to use, but instead of the default for continue, you can use the option of blend instead. And it might be easiest if I show you the differences in geometry. So if I choose continue, right now it's a default. If I just leave the default, it's not actually going to add a transition to the list. I'm just going to hit the check mark. And essentially, it continues the surface as if this intersection wasn't even there. Let's edit definition and change the option for the transition. I will click on transitions mode and then select this one over here and I will right click and choose blend instead. And you might have noticed that it scoops in a little bit. In other words, it's trying to keep the, sort of like the same radius as it's intersecting with the geometry. Now, if I hit the check mark, you might be able to see again a little more pronounced that it is necking in over here. Let's go back and take a look at some of the other different intersections that we have in here. I will edit definition. This time I will use the right mouse button to get into transitions mode. And here we have an intersection. I will click on it. And right now the default choice over here is that it's using an intersect transition. Let me choose blend instead. And you can contrast it, compare and contrast with the other corner over here. This other corner, again, is using the default of intersect. You can see how it takes the two rounds along those edges and just finds that common intersection between them. Whereas with transition two, it is using the blend and we're getting a rounded shape as it moves from one edge reference to the other edge reference. That is good for the first example in this particular part. I want to create another one on the corner over here. I'm just going to suppress this particular round just so that it doesn't get in my way. So I will create the new round and I'm going to select this edge. I'm going to use different radii on each of the references. So right now I've got set one, I've got that edge with a radius of one. Let's select this edge over here. I'm going to drag it in. Let's change it to a value of 0.5. And then I'm going to put in a third set over here. Let's drag this one out. Let's get it to about value of 0.75.
I'm just trying to make sure that I'm getting different radii on each of the references. And you can see where they intersect at this corner over here. Again, to get to transitions mode, you can use the button on the dashboard. And we can open up the transitions tab just to see them as we're building in here. But if I select this particular transition and then hold down the right mouse button, you'll see that we have a number of different choices in here. And the default in this case over here is round only two. You get these options round only one and round only two if you have different radii situations. And it's saying, hey, which one of these am I going to continue on? And it's really hard to explain the differences between round only two and round only one because there are so many different results that you can get. And the results depend on whether you have three or four pieces in that are forming the corner that you are creating the transition. And if you have the mixed convex mixed convexity or same convexity. In this particular case, we have same convexity uh, for these three different edges because they're all sort of like outside edges. But if one of these was like an inside edge, we would have a different result. So again, you get different choices, but you can see what we have with the default round only two. Let me hit the check mark just so that you can see the geometry that is being created in this particular case. Let's edit definition. I'll use the right mouse button to go back into transitions mode. And for this transition, instead of using the default, we'll change to round only one and then hit the check mark. And again, you notice, hey, it looks, looks different. Uh, so again, probably the easiest thing is just to inspect the resulting geometry if you're using the options for round one or round two. But let's continue on with our or exploration of the different options at that corner. Let's go to transitions mode. Here's transition one. Now let's take a look at the intersect option. And again, it'll be easy if I just hit the check mark and show you. And essentially it's saying, hey, let's run these three rounds into each other and find the common edge that results. Let's edit definition one more time and go to transitions mode and go to that first transition. So again, we've taken a look at round only one, round only two, and intersect. Next up, let's take a look at the corner sphere option. And with the corner sphere option, you'll notice that we have a bunch of different dimensions in here. So again, what it's doing is it's trying to fit a ball into the corner over here. And we've got drag handles for how long we want to sort of blend it into the different references. You can drag them and see the result that you get. And also we have a drag and whoa, again, whoa, really too big and it goes away at some point. So you can see the different values. Let's hit the check mark. And again, there you can see the corner sphere option. And another one to take a look at for this particular one. Let's edit definition of the round feature again. Transitions mode, transitions, transition one. There is another option in here to put a patch. And with the patch, again, it just kind of like tries to fit all of them together. Let me hit the check mark because there's one more option here with the patch. Let's edit definition and go to transitions mode and select the transition. Now you can you also have the ability to select an optional surface. And so take a look at how it looks over here. I'm gonna add in as the optional surface this surface. Boom, and then adds in this little curvature over in here. And similarly, if I change the optional surface, you'll see where you get the, you know, the blending in of the geometry. And one more time, let's change it to this one over here. And finally, let's go back to what we had with the first surface over there and hit the check mark. So again, just lots of different controls over the geometry that you want at your different intersections. So, so far we've taken a look at blend, continue, sphere, intersect, patch, round only one, round only two. We have a bunch more to take a look at. Let's hit switch over to a, another model. All right, here I have a part model and you can see it sort of looks like a pyramid. I have four faces coming together in at a peak. 
let's create a round using these different edges as the references. I can select the edge itself, and from the mini toolbar, here we have the round command. You can see that is also the keyboard shortcut of R. And here we have a radius value. In this particular case, I'm going to select all four of them together. And again, we are creating a round on the side edges, and they come together at this peak over here. Let's use right mouse button to go into transitions mode. I always like to open up the transitions tab. And first we'll take a look at this transition over here. And right now it's using round only two. The round only one, round only two options really only matter when you have a you have different radii on the edges that you're rounding. But let's take a look at the intersect option. We already saw that one. I'll hit the check mark. So again, you can see how it just basically creates each round, figures out where they run into each other, and creates your different sort of edges or seams between them. But instead of the intersect option, let's take a look at patch. And now with patch, instead of having that particular corner, it just sort of puts them all together here in a little cap surface. With this particular round, we also have other transitions that we can control at each of the intersections down here. So if I select this particular transition over here, right now is using the default of something called a stop case. I'll show you stop cases in another model, but you can see in this particular case here with the default of stop case three, it's just stopping it at the intersections. But we also have the ability to do a patch instead. You'll notice with this particular patch, it is extending it down over here along this adjacent edge. Let me hit the check mark and you can see the difference between the patch option used at that transition versus the default stop case three located over here. Let's switch over and I'm going to take a look at this little channel inside of here and I'm going to turn on my datum point visibility to show you a, another option. Let's create a round on this side edge over here and again it automatically propagates to the tangent references. Let's get into transitions mode and I'm going to open up the transitions tab. You can also use a transition called stop at reference. And I'll pick this particular transition over here. And instead of the default stop case three, we have stop case one and two, which are actually going to be the same for this particular geometry. Again, another example, I'll show you where stop cases make a big difference. Let's use stop at reference, and you can pick either a datum point or a datum plane to control the extent of the round. I'll hit the check mark, and you can see that the round over here on the left gets terminated at that particular point, but the round over on the other side continues on to the intersecting geometry. And of course, we can edit definition, get into transitions mode from the mini toolbar, and pick this one, and similarly, use right mouse button to stop at reference and select this other datum point over here. And that way, again, you can, con you can keep the round from going fully along all the different references that it would normally go to. All right, another example over here. Let's create a round and we'll create it on this edge over here. Let's make it bigger. Let's use a value of 1.25. I just want to make sure that it is intersecting with the side surfaces over here in the model. Let's go into transitions mode. And again, you can see with some of the pink highlighting that we have, four different transitions available to us because of the intersection with the side surfaces. And if I select this one over here, you could see from the tooltip and from the right mouse button that d the default one that Creo Parametric selected is the continue option, but we can use the blend option instead. And with the blend option, you can even see from the topology as how it's represented on the screen that it looks a little different. Let's select this one over here. And now that I already have a transition in the model, when I select this other one over here, I also get the intersect option for some reason. And it creates a different shape in 
terms of what we're getting. And so you can see that here we have a slightly different patch, whereas over on the other sides, uh, we don't have that patch. And also if I edit definition of this particular one, let's go back to transitions mode. Again, for this other one that I added in here, for some reason I have three options. I have the default of continue, I could do a blend uh, like before or do an intersect and hit the check mark and now you can see that you know these areas over here are represented differently in the geometry. Next one, let's take a look at the different stock cases that we can use. So let's select this particular edge over here. Again, we've got some funky geometry. Let's create our fillet in the model. And we'll use that nice big value. I'll use my right mouse button to get into transitions mode. And in this particular case, here we have a transition where it is intersecting the side geometry. When I click on it, you can see that it is choosing stop case three. Let me hit the check mark to show you that one, the resulting geometry. And so in this particular case, it continued the round over so that it just went in and, and fit into both of the side surfaces. Let's edit definition from mini toolbar and go into transitions mode and go to transitions and pick this one. And instead of using the default stop case three, let's take a look at stop case one. And now you can see that it sort of intersects with this side surface and propagates it and doesn't have the round going all the way to this other side surface. So and that's what we're getting in this particular case for stop case one. Again, let's edit definition, go into transitions and transition one. Instead of stop case one, if we go to stop case two, you can probably guess that it's going to use the other surface as the one that gets propagated uh, in order to control the extent of the radius and it doesn't go all the way out to the bottom one. Again, what you get with stop case one, two, and three is completely dependent on the nature of the geometry where you are placing your fillet. Let's edit definition one more time and go to transitions mode transitions. For transition one, we also have the option in here for patch. And just like that model that sort of looked like a pyramid, it had the peak. If you choose that patch option, you can see how it's, it's propagating along that non-tangent adjacent edge in order to fill in the radius. All right, very last one to take a look at. Now, this one I think was added in Creole Parametric 1.0. I don't think you're able to change fillets from Wildfire 5.0 to the option that I'm going to show you here. And again, this one is a bit of a weird one. Let's create a round, and I'm going to round, let's select this edge over here. Here we're using a radius of 1.25. I'm going to hold down the control key so I use the same radius on both of these sort of vertical edges. You'll notice based on the nature of the geometry, the fillet, even though it has a radius of 1.5, is wider over here than we have over on the vertical geometry. So this particular stop case is used a lot when you have draft in the model. Let's go to transitions mode in the transitions tab. Here we have our transition, and it's using the default intersect. Here we have these options for intersect at surface for side one and side two. Let's take a look at side one. What it's doing is it's giving us a drag handle that allows us to control sort of like the transition from the narrower, narrower radius to the wider radius over here. If I go to the drop down list, instead of intersect at surface side one, if I choose side two, it's going to give me the drag handle over on the opposite side. So that's one thing that you have in here. Other options that you have is whether you want it to be the transition span to be one side or two side. So if we choose one side, we're just going to get sort of like a regular radius surface in here. If I choose two sides, you'll notice we get a whole bunch of other different dimensions. So we have the ability to change the extent along both of the surfaces inside of here. 
for the transition. But you'll notice we also have dimensions that are just like a D1 by D2 uh, radius round. So for example, I can choose, hey, let's, you know, maybe I want it to be a little wider or narrower on one of the sides than the other sides. You have the drag handles for changing that shape. Also, you have a drag handle for the row parameter for a conical shape. And the row parameter controls whether something is going to be elliptical or parabolic or hyperbolic or even sort of like some sort of like circular. And so if I grab it out over here, you can see how it's changing the shape of the surface in there. And that row parameter can go from a minimum of typically 0 0.05 to a maximum of 0.95. And again, you can see the effect of the shape when we drag it out over there. And when I'm happy, hit the check mark. And so that way we've controlled the transition between those two different edges. So again, lots of stuff available when you are doing your different transitions. Just to recap some of the different types that you have, usually uh, when you start off, you're going to have the option default, and that's where Creole Parametric is going to choose one of the different options. But the options include things like intersect, corner sphere, patch, round only one, round only two, blend, continue, stop case one, stop case two, stop case three, stop at reference, and intersect at surface. A lot of stuff there. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.